Hello HP Touchpad users, important news. Our diligent developer, JC Sellens, has put out a new Clockwork Mod 6 recovery for the HP Touchpad. Come check it out here in the Roots Wiki forum. MP Grimm has posted a great thread detailing all the information about it, compiled all the quotes and information from the developers. Come check it out here, it'll tell you what it is, how to use it, all the detailed information. Links in the description below. Now, an important note about this is that Clockwork Mod 5 uh, was introducing inode errors into the file system when we were updating our ROM, when we were flashing our ROM and getting our updates. So if you've been doing this, don't panic. Clockwork Mod 6 is going to fix this, but if you've been flashing ROMs and you're worried about having corruption on your system, there's an easy way to fix it. All you have to do is make a an Nandroid backup. We're going to show how to do that soon in the video. Then you're going to uninstall whatever version of CyanogenMod mod you're using 10 9 7 it doesn't matter if you check out my how to install the easy way guide all the different versions and download links will now include clockwork mod 6 so you can find that in the description as well so what you'll do is uninstall CyanogenMod. mod instructions are there too reinstall CyanogenMod, mod and then you'll restore the nandroid backup you've had everything will be exactly the way you left it and there'll be absolutely no chance of having any problems with the file systems. It's so a big thank you to JC Sellens for fixing this up for us. You can find out more information about it here, but it's not just a fix, it's a great new interface and it looks great and you should really come and check it out. Now I'm gonna show you how to install it from Clockwork Mod 5. Simply hold down the power button, go to reboot and you'll reboot. We're gonna to go to select our recovery. And just takes a moment using Sanjay Mod 10. Please subscribe to see all the latest updates and like the video so more people will hear about this. We're going to choose our recovery using the volume buttons and we're going to hit the home button to select Clockwork Mod. In a moment, it will boot into Clockwork Mod 5. One thing you will notice is the version is up at the top and it has a very dark background. Now, in order to go to Clockwork Mod 6, you can find the download link in the description. You'll download it to your device and then you'll reboot into the recovery like so. And we'll just simply go to the list and we'll choose install zip from SD card using the volume buttons. Now we'll hit the home button to select things and we'll be on choose zip from SD card, choose the home button. And now we use the volume button to navigate to it in our list. Here it is here, Clockwork Mod 6. Hitting the home button again will take us to the next screen and we'll simply select yes install. That'll be a quick little install and now it's done. Now we'll simply go back and reboot system now. And we can go immediately back into our recovery and we'll be ready to go. So we're gonna boot Clockwork Mod recovery again and we'll be using the latest Clockwork Mod 6. As you can see right away here, there's a new gray, nice background. We've got some new graphics and animation will be added to this version. Installing zips will be the same. Everything, all the same features will be available, plus new features. So we will go over a few of them here, and then you can check out more in the Roots Wiki forum. Now, like we talked before about making a backup, we can do this ourselves by going to Backup Restore, and we'll be on backup by default. That's the default setting when we enter the recovery area. Now, to start the backup, all we have to do is hit the home button again, but this will take a little period of time. So we wanna make sure we have a decent charge before we make a backup or restore a backup. We don't wanna run out of batteries while we're restoring or making a backup. To make a backup, we'll simply hit the home button and it'll start and it will create the restore. Now we can restore our restores simply by selecting them from a list. You can rename them like so. I have Cyanogen Mod 10 and 9 on here. And to simply select it, you just click it, and then there you go. Go back. Now, a new feature is that we can delete the unwanted recovery. So if we've made a few of them and they do take up quite a bit of space, we can delete them here from the device. We don't have to delete them from our computer anymore. Once you've selected one and deleted it from the list, there's also a new feature where you can free unused data 
from the backup. So it may build up over time. There's also two types of backups we can make, a tar and a dup. So we have a few more options. You can read more about them in the Roots Wiki forum if you'd like to know more. Installing zips will be exactly the same, except we'll have some new graphics. Here we can see our new little android with a little ball in his stomach. When we actually make our backup, his little ball will spin and will be entertained for a little while. Now this is a basic overview. You can find out more about the advanced features and settings at the Roots Wiki forum. Please subscribe to see the latest updates on this and anything else HP Touchpad related. Like the video. Thanks for watching everyone.